Hello, welcome to the Tech Game. My name is RJ. To this video is regarding Prepare 3D and Flight Simulator and um, information about the new version 4 that's um, hopefully just around the corner. So let's uh, go, keep our fingers crossed that it's going to be this year. There's uh, some information. It's been been around for a little while actually, but I just thought I'd bring it to people's attention just to discuss it, talk about it. If you pop on over to the Orbex website um, and you go onto their forum uh, on their roadmap, there was something that was put up uh, a little while ago actually. Um, but there's some information there about projects that they're working on, top secret projects, not really that secret. Um, but these project A, D, P, X, and O project. X, which um, is Orbex uh, announced that they were going to be working with um, X-Plane or getting their software to work with X-Plane has just been canned by all accounts so that's Project X, Project P um, well that's prepared so and they quite um, quite clearly state on there oh and it's going to be 64-bit so there we go they're making the move over to 64-bit about time too I know a lot of people saying well I've got these add-ons but you know come on we've got to move on um, Project D for Dovetail, that is 64-bit, the um, uh, fly um, simulator, and Project A, um, Aerofly, which is 64-bit, and one that I've tried. Uh, it's a good um, good bit of software, just needs lots of um, third-party add-ons, really, for extra planes and scenery. Um, Project O, I'm not really sure, I think that's a, a, an Orb Orbex enhancement that they're, they're working on. Um, but just to go back to what we initially started talking about, Project P, there we go, 64-bit. So um, uh, there's a couple of other websites as well, so that they've, they're starting to work with the SDK version of um, four, uh, version 4 of Prepared. So, you know, we could see something in the next th three, six months. Um, which is uh, quite exciting stuff. Don't know anything, uh, any other information about that. So if you do have any info on or want to chat about this, then just pop it in the notes below. We can all have a chat. But um, hopefully it's going to be, I don't know, DirectX 12 or Vulkan um, to get some more use out of uh, out of our GPUs and potentially using multiple GPUs and not just all be bottlenecked on the CPU. Um, my card, uh, it uh, it rarely gets above sort of 50% load on the GPU, which is, uh, which is a bit of a shame because it uh, flies through most games, but um, when it comes to simulators, it just uh, it just gets absolutely hammered by the CPU. Um, so there we go. So just, um, you can go over to the Orbex uh, forum to find that bit of information. Um, so post something in the forum on um, on Lockheed's site. Hopefully they I, they never do give us any information until they actually release the thing. So I doubt we're going to get anything from them. So just got to keep looking around on the other forums to see what information we can find. So there we go. Thanks for watching. My name is RJ. This is the Tech Cave. See you again. Bye bye.